Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool novelty telephone. This is a hot dog telephone and this was sent in by another telephone repair company and so basically this is the initial checkout of this telephone and they had a note with this telephone that uh, it does nothing but it, it rings or something like that so what we're going to do is uh, go ahead and check the telephone out so I'm going to hold the hook switch here down we want to plug the unit into the analyzer and go ahead and ring it I'll go ahead and let that ring a few times. I'll let it go one more time. And then it continues to ring when the hook switch is up, but then it uh, seizes the analyzer and lets go of it. So now I have the screws removed out of this telephone. Let's go ahead and uh, open it up. And this kind of gives you a look at the inside of the telephone. I want to switch this around. And here's our main PC board. So what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and take the screws out of that real quick and give you a look at that. The piezo buzzers for the ring cycle on these novelty telephones a lot of times is not real loud. But we're going to uh, be checking into why this telephone does not have any dial tone and why it continues to ring when the hook switch is up and it just seizes the analyzer and then uh, shorts it out and lets it go. This kind of gives you a look at the PC board here. And there's your hook switch. But that's not the issue because when you pick the phone up, it continues to ring and then it shorts the line and then lets and releases it. So there's a, another issue going on with this telephone. And so what we're going to do, give you a look at it real quick here. We're going to be troubleshooting this board. So we're going to take a short break and do some troubleshooting and then we'll return to the video in a little bit. Okay, we're back now and we've been doing some troubleshooting on this telephone and it looks on the IC chip here that the hook switch detector control is bad. And so what we've done is I started desoldering this IC chip and so now what we can do, we have another one here as a replacement and so now what we want to do is remove this IC and I want to make sure all the pins I don't want to wash the video out but I'm going to have to take a look at this I want to make sure all the pins are loose And 
then we can pick it out of the circuit. Okay, we're back now, and so what we've done is went through this telephone, and basically what it comes down to is this telephone, which is the hot dog telephone, has been, uh, it's taken an electrical surge, and so we have our uh, IC chip here that controls dialing out in the pulse mode or better known as the rotary mode and but yet it has a touch tone looking keypad and this chip we're trying to find a cross for it or locate the IC the telephone co repair company that uh, has this telephone and sent it in for repair wants this telephone back as soon as possible so we're probably not going to be able to locate this uh, IC chip that quickly and so what we're going to do since they want it back uh, sooner than later uh, we're going to incorporate I'm going to go ahead and move the chip out of the way we're going to go ahead and incorporate a touch tone situation um, so we're going to incorporate a circuit that's touch tone and so in a way we're updating the phone also another thing that we need to do is replace the LED the LED in this telephone when it took a surge is also bad and that's the little light that's on the back of it when it's in the on mode so we're going to be wiring in a keep uh, a circuit to this board because we kind of have to hybrid this board because we have our switch here for the ringer element which is high and low and then we have a hook switch here and all that has a certain clearance that it has to make when the board is set in and mounted so we're going to use this board and I'm going to go ahead and leave the socket that was in for the other chip just in case down in the future we ever find the original chip and or, or whatever it's not going to hurt to leave the socket in place so we're going to go ahead and incorporate another circuit design and make this telephone touch tone so we're going to kind of update it and we're going to take a short break and we're going to be working on that and getting it all back together again and then we'll do some more video and we'll do some final checks so we'll be right back okay we're back and the telephone is finished up and ready to be checked out we have uh, our new touch tone circuit uh, designed into the uh, with the old circuit the old board and so the receive and transmit come from the original board and so does the ring cycle for the piezo buzzer and the touch tone circuit just takes care of the dialing so nothing's really changed on receive transmit and the uh, ringer circuit and we also replace the LED and you can see that comes on when I lift the phone up so now we're going to go ahead and do some final checks we have uh, our IC chip that we could not uh, locate uh, quick enough because this uh, other repair company wants to try to get this telephone back as soon as they can. So uh, instead of continuing the search for this chip that would probably take a while, uh, we went ahead and did the touch tone. So it's kind of been upgraded in a way because this chip only dials out and pulses. So in other words, uh, even though it looks touch tone, the telephone would only dial out in pulse mode or rotary. So uh, and in, here's our LED, and that was replaced. Uh, the board, the original board was also repaired, and 
If you remember in the earlier part of the video, this telephone didn't do anything. Uh, when you would ring the telephone, it wouldn't ring and uh, it wouldn't uh, have receiver transmit and it would not dial out. And if you picked the telephone up and in a ring cycle, it would ring once or twice and then it would just uh, uh, seize the analyzer and then uh, do nothing. So the telephone had a lot of problems. It, it was uh, took a power surge is what it did and uh, so it, it damaged the phone pretty good and that's why it's in the shop being repaired. So anyway we're going to go ahead and ring the telephone. Now the, the ringers on these novelty telephones are never really very loud but they're enough to get your attention. And I'm not even sure the video picks that up but we'll see. I'll let it go one more time. There's your red LED. I want to give you dial tone. And then what we want to do is dial the numbers. So if you watch the analyzer, you'll see the numbers go by. I'm going to end in a 2. I'm going to hang up and dial a 2. I want to transmit into the handset. So if you watch the red indicator light, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Every time that red light on the analyzer lights up, that's an indication of 100% modulation. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we know the telephone is dialing out, and we know it has receive, and we know it has transmit, and we know it rings. So now let's move it over to a regular telephone line. And what we want to do is, there's our red light, so we know the telephone's on. Give us some dial tone, and we'll call it like a time and temp number. Now what we can do is hang up and give you some dial tone. We'll call my number and it'll be busy. We'll call one other number, but we don't need to talk to them because we don't need anything from there. telephone is in working condition and it can be sent back to uh, the repair company that sent it to us and they can get it out to their customers or whatever that they're going to do with it. But uh, it's a really cool hot dog telephone and uh, these are pretty sought after. We've had people call the shop about these and uh, we've repaired many of them and there's different versions of these hot dog phones. Some of them have the relish and this one has the hot dog and the mustard and the bun, but these are cool telephones and uh, it's repaired now and actually upgraded to a touch tone situation. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching and have a great day.